can people follow these directives from World, World Health Organization when there is no light? Do you see why we fight for Biafra? People, the, the, the ginger weed, the presidency of the zoo, they call the presidency because Buhari is not there, he's a, he's a, high hand, a hired hand from Sudan. So any idiot can speak and his presidency. Whereas in America, when is the president speaking, you see Trump. Everywhere else in the world, a prime minister is speaking, you see Boris Johnson. You see the prime minister of the country, you see the president of the country, but it's in the zoo, it's called presidency. So anybody can appear. I say presidency. We are in one almighty mess. And the zoo, see what we call Nigeria Zoo? And the zoo cannot save you. They can't save themselves. Abba Piari and Jubril, that they call Buhari, they are not in Abuja. If they are in Abuja, they should show us where they are. They can never show you. You have seen videos and clips of patients in Italy, in America, everywhere. The wife of the Canadian Prime Minister has coronavirus. I think the EU President, Juncker, I think he has coronavirus. They tell you. You can see them. But I am telling you right now that the zoo is non-functional. Nigeria is not functioning. It has no de facto president who is Abakiari. There is nobody else in charge. A majority of them are contaminated. They, they have all infected themselves. Nigeria right now has no government. It has no Senate. In, in, in the US, you can see the Senate voting through a stimulus package for the economy. In Nigeria, that is not. House, uh, they are House of Reps. All oh, they have all run away. Senate is the same thing. They have all run away. There is nobody in charge. The only people in charge in the zoo is Buratai and this ginger with army. I will also come to that later. That is the mess that we are facing. Even when there is no announcement from the government about a lockdown, please lock yourselves down. What I am about to tell you is out there everywhere. But there is no way anybody can deny this. You know that this God we serve in heaven is miraculous. Do you know this tiny virus, Corona? It is the surest way to expose corrupt regimes all over the world. It is a very bad virus, yes. But it is now exposing corruption that otherwise people won't be aware of. Let me explain this to you. This is according to Nigeria's budget. So it is not made up figures. Nobody is lying against anybody. 2015, when the late Buhari was alive, in his first budget, they appropriated 3.94 billion naira for Asorok Clinic. Listen carefully, please. 3.94 billion. 2015. 2016, 3.87 billion. 2017, 3.20 billion. 2018, 1.03 billion making it a total of 12.04 billion but abak yari the real president of the zoo called nigeria fell ill let me go by what they're saying officially they said they're taking him to babalada hospital babalada hospital have not received from the government up to 100 million naira but these same people that jailed Ojo Zokalo, that put Oli Samitu in jail, claiming that they are fighting corruption, claiming that they are, they are the ones to sanitize society. These same people stole 12.04 billion. He let Buhari and his family, Aisha and their son, who is the fourth richest man in Africa, uh, Yusuf or whatever his name is, Abakiyari, uh, Issa Funtua, Mama Ndaura, Burata, they have stolen money. Very clear and very neat. Very clear and very neat. Are they going to defend this? The answer is no. Not even the most ardent ginger weed can defend this. It is very clear. You appropriated money in a budget to equip Asorok to make it viable for your sickly whoever is there. Because Buhari is no longer there. We are raise the money. Let us forget about the money they, they appropriated for themselves in 2020. I am asking them about the money they claim they spent on Asoro. These are the people of integrity. APC. 3.94 billion. 3.7 billion. Yoruba media will not hear this. The newspaper, the nation will not write this. But it is here. And black and white. Appropriated. Stolen from the central bank. Where is the money? What did you buy with this in Asorok? Now they are moving them all over the place, saying we are going to Babalada, we are flying him to Lagos. These are the people that stole money. And I ask you this evening, why is Ojo Zokalo in Fujia prison serving, is it 12 years? Why is Olisa Metu in prison for 400 million naira only serving 7 years? Why? Because they failed to realize that in Nigeria, every politics is not. You take care of your people. That is why my concern is Biafra first. This was contained in their budget. They budgeted for this money. You will see them, they will come, they recently of course it's Jupiter. You will stand there and and uh, uh, trying to form Late Buhari's um, accent. 
he will try. He will say, eh, for, uh, for um, uh, in my clinic at Hassan Rock, uh, we are budgeting uh, 3.87 billion. Where is it now? What did you buy with 3.87 billion? If you go to Hassan Rock, clinic is empty. Now tell me who is corrupt in Nigeria. Tell me those that needs to go to jail in Nigeria. These very figures, I will give it to the British. Not minding what they're going to, I want to prove to the world that nobody, no group of people is more corrupt than Fulani. They are the most corrupt, useless and primitive and backwards. That's why you're all suffering. That is why everybody is suffering. Their primitivity and backwardness, that is what we are suffering. That is why there are no good hospitals. That is why I pray to Chukutika Deva in heaven. Uh, Abakiari is not there and as he was flying, as he was running away, he took Jubril with him. Jubril ran with him. So there is nobody. And even sure those that you're seeing claiming presidency, they all have grown all of them. So there is nobody. So that's how they've, all, they've disappeared. House of Reps disappeared. This is the reason why we ask people, we want a country that is viable. We want a civilized country that is viable. You won't understand it. Now it has come. This is the news coming from the zoo. They are shutting down their hospital. Their hospitals are closing down because the doctors themselves are going on self-isolation because they don't have the gear, they don't have the kit to cover themselves to do the work. They have. I mean, what I'm telling you is actually a fact. Let me read the news for you, please. The hospital shuts down major operations due to coronavirus as doctors embark on self-isolation. I'll read it for you. The University Hospital in Ibadan, or your state, has suspended key services due to the ongoing coronavirus outbreak. The suspension of consultation services to regular outpatients was announced by the chief medical director of the hospital, Jesse Otebayo, on Wednesday. Mr. Otebayo said other departments in the hospital will also stop rendering services till further notice. Tell me how we're going to survive. Is it the telephone services that you have? Is there any hotline anywhere you can call if you're sick? They said it is a NASD, whatever. If they have eaten all the money meant for Asoro Clinic at the seat of power itself, what makes you think that this? It's your so-called, is it uh, NCCD or whatever rubbish is called? It's going to be there to respond on time. And when they start to deny in Asoro, you know there's something wrong. They said, Buhari not on ventilator. Nobody asked them. They came out and said, oh, Buhari is not on ventilator. Did anyone ask you? You know, this thing about this God we worship is that he's miraculous. And uh, he has never failed me and can never fail. You will see what will happen to this. The, the real president is off, off the bridge. Now, nobody asked Lai Muhammad saying that uh, Buhari is not on ventilator. Did anybody ask if Jubilee is on ventilator? From their mouth, they, they will confess. You watch and see what is going to happen. And then you come back and say, the right to go to May coronavirus ravage all of them. In this life and in the next, all of them. You see what will happen to the zoo. There is no answer. There is nobody there now. Only here is presidents. Oh, we congratulate uh, one Pentecostal thief for, for his 50th birthday. That's all they now do. There is nobody speaking. If you go, if you, if you turn on your generator, because I know there's no light. Turn on your generator, go and check. You will see every head of state around the world that is not ill with this very virus. You will see them standing and speaking to the people. Almost an early, even Hong Kong, Singapore, they call back all their MPs. They don't wear any tie to show you the, the, the urgency of it. Even when my first in South Africa, everybody speaking. The most populous country in Africa. Where is the person you claim is your president? They said he, he, he tested negative, that Jubil doesn't have it. Then where is he? In a time of national crisis and emergency, where is he to give direction and purpose? Let Jubil stand up and tell, as Trump has been, tell as uh, Boris Johnson has been doing, tell the world how many ventilators you are going to purchase. Tell the world how many hospitals that are open. Tell the world the figures, the projection from the statisticians and all the experts. Um, stand up and say it, he cannot. It's a COVID-19 virus. And today, even ordinary COVID-19 virus, you don't hear anymore. And people are pretending as if life is normal. Do you see why Africa is, is rubbish and backwards? There is no way to speak. Because the lead screen, the dealer, the, 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 the man, the Onobar Obo is down. Abakir is the puppet master and he's down. Now they are so confused. They don't want to know what I said. When I said that Abba Thiari is the one running the zoo, you did not believe me. Now he's out of the way. Tell me they're not in disarray. They are all in disarray. Now, like Mohammed, Buhari is not on ventilator. Let him come out and speak. Let uh, okay, he's Buhari. Come out and speak and let's see. He cannot speak because he, he, 
His contract was $250 million. Now he has gotten what he bargained for. And as I told people a while ago, once you go into Asorok, you will either die in Asorok or you lose somebody very close to you. Go and take them from the bank that is present regime. And I warn the Jubilee, if you don't take time, you will die there. How about you? If you don't take time, you will die there. Anybody who goes into Asorok, Asorok either you die, your wife or your close relative, Go and check from the bank that are moving to Asorok till this very day. Our priority is to defend their friends. Anything the zoo likes, it can do, but the zoo cannot defend you. In a time of crisis, in America, they're sending checks to people, sending out, they, they agreed the stimulus package of $2 trillion. Japan, $500 billion. Everybody doing something. You can, I'm a proud Nigerian. What has Nigeria done for you now? That you're in a big, ugly mess. Nothing is to tell you, oh, don't, don't go out, don't do anything, don't travel, but they cannot take care of you. Nobody can rise up and spend their time and say, we are taking care of our people. But you said that you have billionaires, trillionaires, multi, everything you can think of. What has Nigeria done for you now? That you're in a big, ugly mess. Your banks, your nonsense, colonial, stupid thoughts, man.